So Ashish, uh, what are the key factors that provided a cushion to the Indian markets versus the global markets in the recent uh, IT-led global meltdown? Mm-hmm. So, your thoughts? You see, I think uh, there is a lot which is made about uh, decoupling and resilience and all those things. But we should go back a little bit and never forget one thing mm-hmm. that before COVID happened, uh, you know, we were down in the dumps, correct? So just take for a contrast, it's not comparable, but just for contrast, let's take an example of US. Mm-hmm. Before COVID, a gigantic economy, the world's largest economy, like, you know, $22 trillion GDP, such a big economy in 2019, just before COVID, they grew three and a half percent, right? Uh, India was two and a half trillion before COVID and we grew 3.7% for the financial year 1920. So you can imagine that when COVID came, right, when COVID came, for the US, it was like a 100 ton truck speeding at 100 kilometers per hour. And for us, it was like a tiny passenger vehicle which got a scratch in the parking lot. Correct? So now keep this in mind that before COVID, we were anywhere doing nothing practically. We had, and there are reasons for it, you know, series of uh, structural changes and in, much needed interventions, all of that for the right things. Now, when COVID happened, what did the US do? You know, because it was an economy which was really. Uh, going fast, like expanding pretty rapidly. And when COVID hit, it's like a crash for them. So they immediately, they took a series of measures to kind of ensure that the economy doesn't uh, sink. And now you know for a fact that that resulted, you know, already the economy was booming. During COVID, they infused more measures, monetary measures, including fiscal incentives. And you know that the economy got heated up, right? So they had inflation and they have to control it with interest rates, etc., etc. So basically, this whole market correction which started from the end of 2021, why did India outperform? The most important reason which is less discussed is that because before COVID, we were doing nothing, correct? So when COVID happened, we were actually counter-cyclical to the rest of the world. Post-COVID, for everybody, especially the US, the challenge became that their economy was heated up and they needed to cool it. And for us, it was the reverse. We were doing badly before COVID. During COVID, whatever liquidity was infused globally and whatever interest rate reduction was done globally, that actually allowed us to flex our muscle and prime our economy, which we otherwise couldn't have done if COVID didn't uh, happen. So most important reason is that the US was booming and entering a slowdown. And we were in a slowdown, counter-cyclical, and just entering a phase of growth. So obviously our resilience was much better than many other parts of the uh, world. Second important thing is because of this and because of smart management by our government, COVID, of course, human calamity, but, uh, you know, it helped our economy to recover. Plus, we didn't do as badly as so many other parts of the, you know, the COVID management was probably better. The lockdowns were not as harsh, many other things. So I think key difference is where you are on the economic cycle and that determines how much stress you can uh, handle. And I think clearly our government has done better, not only just on monetary and financial policy and fiscal policy, but also COVID management. And then afterwards, you know, in terms of controlling oil prices, in terms of managing inflation, I think series of good things have been done. But if I have to say in one sentence, I think it's just that we were counter cyclical to large parts of the world. So we had better ability to weather the whole uh, situation. 